The diagram below shows a sector of a circle of radius 14 centimeters. The angle of the sector is 270 degrees. The sector is folded to form a cone. Find the surface area of the cone. This sector here is cut out of a circle. The radius of the sector is 14 centimeters and the angle is 270 degrees. After cutting it out, it was folded to form a cone like the one that we see here. The question wants us to use this information to calculate the surface area of the cone that we formed. When a sector is folded to form a cone, the radius of the sector will be the same as the slant height of the cone. And also, the length of the arc of the sector will be the same as the circumference of the circular base of the cone. So here, the length of the arc of the sector we have here will be the same as the circumference of the circular base of the cone. The circumference of the circular base of the cone will be given by the formula 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the circular base. The length of the arc of the sector, length of the arc of the sector is given by the formula theta divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the sector and theta is the angle of the sector. So let's substitute this information into the formula to get the length of the arc of the sector. This is equal to 270 degrees divided by 360 degrees times 2 times pi, which is 22 divided by 7, times r, that's the radius of the sector, which is 14 centimeters. And this will give us 66 centimeters. So it means that the length of the arc of the sector is 66 centimeters. But as, as I've already said, the length of the arc of the sector will be equal to the circumference of the circular base of the cone. So, and the circumference of the circular base of the cone is 2 pi r, where r is the radius of the cone. We can find the radius of the cone from here. We have 2 times pi is 22 divided by 7 times r is equal to 66 centimeters. 2 times 22 divided by 7 will give us 44 divided by 7 r and this is equal to 66 centimeters. We multiply the left hand side by 7, multiply the right hand side by 7 and divide both sides by 44 to find r. So when we do that, r will be equal to 66 times 66 centimeters times 7 divided by 44 and this will give us 10.5 centimeters so what it means is that the radius of the cone or the radius of the circular base of the cone is 10.5 centimeters with the radius and the length of the slant height we can find the surface area of the cone because the surface area of the cone the surface area of the cone is given by pi r l where r is the radius of the cone and l is the slant height of the cone we have pi to be 22 divided by 7 times the radius of the cone is 10.5 centimeters times the slant height of the cone which we have found to be 14 times the slant height of the cone which is 14 centimeters 22 divided by 7 times 10.5 centimeters times 14 centimeters will give us 462 centimeters squared so what it means is that 
the surface area of the cone is 462 centimeters squared.